morning, Jesus. And thank you for watching over me last night. Thanks for this day of life you've given me today. I offer it to you, Lord, as my gift to you. For your will to be done in my life today. For your glory and your service. And I ask this in Jesus' name. And I'd like to lift up my brother Anthony, his wife Rhonda, all their family, Judy and I and all our families, Mark and Gail and all her, her, uh, their families, Benny and all his families, Mel and all his family, and uh, all your children you've created, Lord, and I ask for a special blessing. You know each intimately. Design that blessing for each one today, and your will be done in their lives. And I ask this in Jesus' name. Praise God. Okay, today, a little more inspiration. <laughs> I'm the inspiration guy, but the Lord is the inspiration guy. I'm just his, uh, his reader, I guess you'd call it. Um, okay, here's some inspirations and words to think about. i got to take time, take time today to, you know, come to this video you're watching. And uh, listen to the words. It's not about me. It's not about me saying the words. It's not my words. It is words. And uh, I don't even know if the woman that wrote these words down really believes that these are uh, the Lord's words. This is how the Spirit inspires us. Through when we read the Bible, and we hear the Lord's words. And the inspiration coming from our brothers and sisters in the Bible. Those words trigger things inside us. And we're taught and we're shown what uh, was happening in our life right there with the Lord, right with us. And so he teaches us. And you can learn from these inspiration books because the people that, that produce these, not the, not the book people, because they just, they're just, they're taking the words they didn't write the words. It's not their words. They're just producing the book, putting it in print, and putting it out for sale. But the person, this uh, Sarah Young, she was the one that was sitting in quiet time with the Lord. The Lord's spirit was there, and uh, her mind was being spoken into by the spirit. And she wrote down what it was said, and then Bible passages are intermingled throughout this book. But anyway, it's a great book. And uh, there's another I read, God Calling. There's another one along the same lines. Two women in 1932. Of course, we have all had the Bible. And, uh, but anyway, let me get to the inspirations today. You can pick the book up and figure it out yourself. Not yourself, because you'd mess it up probably, just like I would. But have the Lord out teach it to you. It would be a good thing. Yeah. Okay. You are on the path of my choosing. There is no randomness about your life. Here and now comprise the coordinates of your daily life. Most people let their moments slip through their fingers. Half lived. They avoid the present by worrying about the future or longing for a better time and place. They forget that they are creatures who are subject to the limitations of time and space. They forget their creator who walks with them only in the present. Every moment is alive with my glorious presence to those whose hearts are intimately connected with mine. As you give yourself more and more to a life of constant communion with me, you will find that you will simply have no time to worry. Thus, you are free to let my spirit direct your steps, enabling you to walk along the path of peace. The Bible support for these words come from Luke 12, verse 25, 26, and Luke 1, verse 79. And here's another one. Living in dependence on me is the way to enjoy, enjoy abundant life. You are learning to appreciate tough times because they amplify your awareness of my presence. 
tasks that she used to dread are becoming rich opportunities to enjoy my closeness. When you feel tired, you remember that I am your strength. You take pleasure in leaning on me. I am pleased by your tendency to turn to me more and more frequently, especially when you are alone. When you are with other people, you often lose sight of my presence. Your fear of displeasing people puts you in bondage to them, and they become your primary focus. When you realize this has happened, whisper my name. This tiny act of trust brings me to the forefront of your consciousness, where I belong. As you bask in the blessing of my nearness, my life can flow through you to others. This is abundant life. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's do another. I love these things. Our Bible support for that one is from Proverbs 29, verse 25, and John 10, verse 10. See, you can go to the Bible in, in those passages, and you can read those passages, and they'll go along with these words that she wrote in her journal okay, on that day. And to me, all days now, just they're all his. And so inspiration can come on any day. You know, specifically in this book, they, were, they are put on sp specific days for 365 days, one for each day. And, but I love them so much, I, I could just, I just read the book. <laughs> Every day, I might read a hundred of them, but I learned so many things from them, and uh, it's great stuff. Here's another one. You cannot serve two masters. He said that in the Bible. If I am truly your master, you will desire to please me above all others. If pleasing people is your goal, you will be enslaved to them. People can be harsh taskmasters masters, when you give them this power over you. If I am the master of your life, I will also be your first love. Your serving me is rooted and grounded in my vast, unconditional love for you. The lower you bow down before me, the higher I lift you up into intimate relationship with me. The joy of living in my presence outshines all of the pleasures. I want you to reflect my joyous light by living in increasing intimacy with me. The Bible support for these is Matthew 6, verse 24, Revelation 2, verse 4, Ephesians 3, verse 16 to 17, Psalm 16, verse 11. Meet me in the morning stillness while the earth is fresh with the dew of my presence. Worship me in the beauty of holiness. Sing love songs to my holy name. As you give yourself to me, my spirit swells within you till you are flooded with the divine presence. The world's way of pursuing riches is grasping and hoarding. You attain my riches by letting go and giving. The more you give yourself to me and my ways, the more I fill you with inexpressible heavenly joy. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And Bible support on that is from Psalm 29, verse 2, and 1 Peter 1, verse 8. And I think, I don't know if I gave the Bible support on the other one, it was Matthew 6, verse 24, Revelation 2, verse 4, Ephesians 3, verses 16 and 17. In Psalm 16, verse 11. These are, uh, these are some of the inspirations that you can think about today. And basically, you can just sit quietly and ask the Lord to teach you. Teach you anything. What he, anything He would teach you. Would it be just the silence of not teaching, just sitting with Him? Whatever he chooses is the right thing for you, okay? Whatever he chooses in my life is the right thing for me. It's, 
it's like a treasure hunt, as, as he says in the book, it is. I mean, you get up in the morning, you know your whole day is planned out for you. All you have to do is just watch. Just look. As you move from point A to point B, what happens? Okay. Are you aware of your surroundings? Okay. Maybe a person comes into your path. Maybe you'll get to talk to them. Maybe you won't. Okay? Maybe you'll see them doing something that reflects the Lord. So there's the jewel. So you, you see that. That's brought into your life. That's one of the little bonus gifts he gives us. Okay, like this morning, I, I was down the hall around, oh, maybe 6.15 or so. And the sun coming in through the porch, through the, through the door and the window there, creates a cross on the wall. It's only a certain time, and the sun comes up on that side. So, but when I see the cross, okay, it reminds me of the Lord. So he's right with me right then at that moment. And people would look at that and say, Psh, you're making stuff up now. But I'm not. I know I'm not. I know that people aren't going to know that I'm mean, not either. They have no conception. There are maybe some that might. You know, some could say, hey, yeah, you're right. Okay, if they have walked around with me all day, I'd point out the different times that the Lord shows himself to me. It's great stuff. It's comforting for me and my responsibility to pass on to others. Are they going to get it? I don't know. I, I, I hope so. But you know, from their remarks or their demeanor or, their, or, or, or watching them, I'd say, no, they haven't gotten it yet. And I say, yeah, because they got to get it. <laughs> it isn't an option in life. The Lord is the reality of life. And we need to get to that reality. And if you're there, you're blessed beyond any blessing. I don't care if you win the lottery and win $20 million. You know, I'd be looking at all the things the Lord wants you to do with that because he gave you the $20 million. And there's some expectations, I'm sure, that come with that. It's not just for you. <laughs> but sometimes in people's lives, that the devil puts it there. He puts that money in your life. And you run off and you forget the Lord. Oh, I got money now. Money, 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 money. This whole world is wrapped up in money. But that's the standards that the world has made. If you have money, you have power, you have riches, you have you know, control, blah, blah, blah. You have nothing. But you can tell people that, but people and those people and the people watching them would say, no, nah, he's, he's off in la-la land somewhere. It's okay. You know? It's, <laughs> I'd rather be in La La Land with the Lord than have a billion dollars in this world. You know, there was a time when I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> okay? But the reality of Jesus is way too real. And I thank Him for that every day. So, you can use my life to <clears throat> hopefully reach others, then that's a good thing. And he loves me and will. He'll, he loves each and every one of us. I don't care who I meet today, but from the honoriest to the, to the most blessed, or what the world looks at the most blessed. Okay? You can probably talk with that person in five minutes and realize that yeah, they're still living in the world. You know, still orientated to the world. So, you know. anyway, Lloyd, thank you for today. Thank you for all your inspiration so far. Looking forward to discovering more secrets about today. And uh, everybody, take some time for the Lord today. Take some time. 
Well, you've already, if you're watching the video, you're already taking time. So that's a good thing. <laughs> he likes that. He's over there with you watching this. I'm in here doing this. <laughs> and he's watching both of us. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Okay. Tomorrow, I'll be back. God willing. Have a great day. Take some time for the Lord. Lord, thanks for being in my life.